In this video, I'm going to be showing you the easiest and the most affordable way to set up a Shopify payment without SSN, EIN, or as non-US resident. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so what you want to do when you get to your Shopify store is to come to this setting. Then under this setting, the first thing you want to do is to come to this billing information. The billing information we are going to be using in this particular video is going to be UK billing information. And for you to use this, you need to set up a UK company. Now, um, setting up a UK company is not as expensive as setting up a US company. And also using UK company for your Shopify store does not mean that you cannot receive dollar payment. You can receive any payment from any currency. So the first thing you want to do is to come to this billing and you want to click on this edit. Then you want to uh, put your uh, business legal name. Then you want to put your, this is my business name, if it's Sam Green Data Solution. Then my business is set up in UK, this is the address. This is the city and this is the postal code. So once you put your own, just click on save, right? So I've done that. And also, if you are trying to set up your Shopify payments with your US LLC as non-US residents and you don't have SSN, then what you can actually do is that you can request for ITIN. Now, that ITIN is what's going to replace that SSN. And for you to get that, keep in mind that I'm not an affiliate to any of these websites I'm going to be measuring this video. So the website you can use to get your ITIN is this website. So it's called the ITIN.com. So once you come here, you can just click on this pricing. And you can see that to get this ITIN, you, can, you are going to spend like almost like $350. And this $350 can, half of this money can actually set you up a UK company. And you don't even have to worry about EIN or this um, ITIN or SSN. So setting up a UK company this way is kind of easier and the most affordable way. And if you want to learn how you can set up your UK company for as low as $75, I'm going to drop a link in the description of this video. Just follow that link. And the link is about how you can create Stripe accounts. But in that particular um, video program, I'll also show you how you can set up your UK company. So let's just go back to business. Right. So once you get here and you have set this up, then the next thing you want to do is to come to this uh, payment. Now, if you don't set up this, if you don't set up this address in where Shopify payment is allowed, like US, UK, and you know other European country, when you come to this payment, you are not going to see this option right here. You're not going to see this option. But when you come here and you see this option, it means that you can now activate your Shopify payments. Now, for you to activate your Shopify payment, just click on this activate Shopify payment. And you say, um, I'm doing business as an individual with sole proprietorship. So, personally, I'm doing business as a business, like not a sole proprietor. I have a business I'm operating. So, I'm just going to remove that. So, it means that I want to set this account up with my business. And I want to set it up with my personal, like the director's name, which is me in this case. So, I'm just going to go ahead and click on continue. So when you get to this part where it says business type, you just want to come here and click on this private limited company. That is if you set up a UK company. That is LTD. It's also a private limited company. Now you want to put your business legal name. Then you want to put your CRN number. So the CRN number is the company registration number. That is that is going to come with your company certificate when you register for your UK business. You can also go to the UK company house and search for your company name. You are going to see your CRN right on the website. Now it's going to ask you if you have registered for VAT. So in my own case, I've not registered for VAT. So I'm going to say no. So once I'm done with that, it's going to ask me for my personal details. So my first name is going to be Samuel. Then my last name is going to be. So you want to actually put the name that appears on your bank statement because most times they are going to ask you to verify this account with your bank statement. Or your utility bill so you want to put that in mind then be the job title is going to be the director then after that i'm going to put my date of birth then right here i'm going to put my home address now on my home address i'm from nigeria so if you are from maybe like pakistan ghana south africa you want to come here and change your country so for me i'm from nigeria so i'm just going to put nigeria so once i put that i just want to come here look uh, the state is going to be Lagos state the next thing I want to do is to come here and put my the address that appears on my bank statement. Then put the zip code. If you don't know your zip code, you can just go to Google and type your your maybe your street, maybe through Lire postal code, or maybe um what is the name of this place? Or really postal code, because same postal code. So you are going to get it. So you're just going to paste it here. It's not that really important when it comes to Nigeria. 
So let me just fill up this detail so that you can continue. So I fill in my business name. I see RN number, the business tax, no. My business address is my business address. My personal uh, details, first name, last name, um, job title. Then my date of birth. I'm just going to put my date of birth. Then I'm going to put my home address right here in Nigeria. So you want to put the address of the country you are living in. If you are living in UK, put your UK address. If you are living in US, why setting up a Shopify payment? with your uk company just put us address as the home address right so once you do that we are going to check mark this this person has or owns 25 percent uh more in this business this person is the director of the business so you want to check mark that then additional owner uh, and director so if you have multiple directors in your company you can just come here and add the second director but in my own case i'm the only director of the company so i'm just going to put i'm the only director of the company now the product i'm selling so i can just come here what kind of product am i selling ziklo traveling and all that so i'm just going to pick um retail so under this retail i'm just going to pick let me just say let me just say pets so i'm just going to put the description of my business right here so as simple as that i'm just going to leave that description like that then um customer billing statement so this is what is going to appear on your customer receipt so you can just edit this a little bit this this sp this sp means shopify payment so you can just say let me just say some green right here the phone number pass i'm just going to change it to nigeria so if you have uk phone number you can actually use your uk phone number but in my own case i'm just going to use a nigeria phone number so that is it then the sort code so this bank sort code if you have uk business and you have a uk bank account maybe with wise with peonia with any virtual bank or you have physical bank of your uk business bank account you can actually put it here but if you don't have you can actually get euro accounts from gray or gig pay or peonia or wise or other company out there but in my own case, those are the one that I can use right now. Although I cannot use WISE as Nigeria because WISE is not currently accepting Nigeria. So the next thing you want to do is to just copy the source, source code and the account number. So let me just log into my Gray account so that I can show you how this looks like. All right, so this is my Euro account on Gray. So the two uh, information they actually need is this account number and the source. So what actually happens is that this, when your customer make payment on your Shopify store, this is where they are going to pay out the money like your payout this is the bank account they are going to pay out so as i said earlier you can use wise you can get euro account from wise you can get it from pioneer you can get it from gig pay if you are from nigeria you can get it from gray if you are from nigeria so once you do that you just want to like go through the information again and see if everything is correct so i've went through the information uh everything is correct so i'm just going to click on this submit for verification so sometimes when you submit this i said earlier they are going to ask you to upload your bank statement so you just want to upload your bank statement then you are good to go sometimes they might ask it like multiple times so you can see it says set up two factor verification so i have to set up two factor verification all right so for you to set up this two factor verification you are they are going to give you option to use authentication app or you have other option here like built-in fingerprints sms and all that so in most cases i like to use this authentication app and the app i use for all my authentication is um two factor like this i'm going to leave the description the screenshots when i'm editing this video so i just have to scan this there's a qr code right here i'm going to cover it anyway so there's a qr code right here so i'm just going to scan it like this so scanned then once i scan it I'm just going to put the confirm the authentication code right here. So two eight four three six two. Turn on. So it turn on now. So I cannot download the code. So the code, the backup code is there, recovery code. So once I'm done with that, I'm just going to click on continue. All right. So uh, once I click on continue, you can see that there's an option here that is asking me that uh incomplete information required to continue using stripe payments you need to up update the information about your business so i'm just going to click on this update information you can see they are going to ask me to upload any of this id so 
I have um, government issue identity. I can use my voter's card anyway. So I have passport. I can use any of these three. So let me just use this passport. Then I'm just going to click on this add file to upload it. So I've uploaded the file. So the next thing I want to do is you can see it's asking for address verification of this particular um, name, which is Samuel Temindayo, you know, the name on the on the bank statement. So I'm just going to go ahead and download my bank statement and then upload this right here. Okay, another thing you have to keep in mind is that if your bank statement is logged, like in most cases, you can use this website to unlock it. I love pdf.com. They just go to Google and type PDF password unlock so it's going to unlock it then you can download the unlock for um, unlock um, version because if he upload it as it was locked you know they cannot access it they don't have the password so it's not going to work so once i'm done with that i'm just going to click on this submit so within 24 hours they are going to just go through the document you submit then verify it so when i refresh it uh if i refresh it let me just see so when I refresh, you can see that the error message is no more here again, which means the um, Shopify payment is now working. Now, if I try to go to my store and see if the Shopify payment is like included in my store, let me just view one of these products. Then let me just add to cart. As you can see, the Shopify payment is already appeared. So, but let me just add to cart. So let me just view the cart, and um, you can see if I click on share cart. You can see I have some I have Express right here. I have Shop Pay, which is Shopify payment. I have um, PayPal. I have Google Pay. If I show down here, you can see I have credit card and credit card right here, which is Shopify payment, and I have PayPal. And also, if you want to learn how you can connect PayPal account to your Shopify store, you can just check this video that is going to appear on the screen after this video. So basically, that is how you can set up your Shopify payment without SSN, EIN and as non-US residents. I hope you find this video helpful. I hope you find this video valuable. If you find this video helpful, kindly give this video a thumbs up so that more people like you can get to see this video. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel. Turn on the bell notification so that anytime I drop a new video just like this, you'll be among the first people to be notified.